Two Beads and Banter. I hope you're having a good day today. Um, I have had a nice day actually. I had a little trip out of the house to uh, Sainsbury's where I bought myself a new Hoover because my Hoover died. Um, so that was very exciting for lockdown. <laughs> Um, and um, I've also made a lovely uh, beachy vibey um, little cowrie shell creation here which you can you make as a bracelet um, or as um, an anklet it works equally well so yeah you can tell that I'm dreaming of summer holidays can't you when we can actually get out and about and you know, go away and enjoy the sunshine because I'm making all these lovely be beachy, beachy things at the moment. Um, so um, I'm just going to say my hellos to everyone and then um, I will get making, show you how to make yourself one of these. I put them on the website as a kit because um, it's, I thought it might be easier for everyone basically if I did, if you wanted to make one. They're only 2 95 each for the kit, so it's super duper cheap, um, but um, they're just a nice fun make. And if you've got teenagers and things, then they'd be good. Hi Elizabeth, hi Anita, hi Sylvia, Lorraine, Rachel, Anna, welcome. Um, I was chatting, I think we might have a lady called Sherry joining us in North Carolina. I was just chatting to her on email. Hi Yvonne. Yeah, we do ship to America, um, Amanda. We ship all the time to America. We've got lots of customers in the USA. Um, yeah, so I was chatting to Sherry about her order. Uh, we were tracking it because, um, you know, when you get, you've ordered something, you're always desperate for it to arrive. Um, but things are taking a little bit longer to arrive um, because there's less flights basically um so and there's less flights so that means that when orders are leaving the uk they've got to wait longer to get on a plane to to go out to you all in america but they are getting there um we're finding they're taking a couple of days longer but you know it's not the end of the world so yeah they're still getting through hi nancy um yeah so that's been my day so far um, I'm going to make a birthday cake for a friend who has a big, the big 5-0 birthday um, tomorrow. So I'm going to make her um, a, um, a nice cake, which will be lovely. And um, we were supposed to be going away for the weekend celebrating. Um, oh, Doris, you're saying you're watching a chainmail bracelet. I didn't catch the rest of that, though. You're watching an old, uh, an old um, YouTube, a, a chainmail one. Hi, Leslie. Oh, thank you for your order. We do appreciate it. We really do. The guys in the warehouse are working really hard. They're working 12-hour shifts, packing everyone's orders. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're so grateful for your support. So thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, I think I shall carry on the chat and start making this lovely cowrie shell bracelet or anklet. It's up to you where the, how you want to wear it. Oh, you got your order too, Miranda. I'm so pleased. Oh, it is hot today, isn't it, Jill? It's lovely out there. It's gorgeous. Hello in Malaysia, Michelle. Hi, Lel. Um, right, so let me flip the camera over and then um, we can get making. Um, here we go. There we go. Right, so this is my cowrie shell bracelet. Hi, Brian, how are you? Um, and um, I have, your sister's 50 on Saturday, Rachel, but she lives in Leeds. It's such a shame, isn't it? If you've got a, lovely, a nice big birthday and you want to, you know, celebrate it with friends and, you know, this lockdown is just getting to us all now, isn't it? All those lovely celebrations we had planned. Um, but we'll just have to postpone it, won't we, and do it later, I think. So um, I'm making my friend a cake and she only lives up the road from me. So I'm going to drive up to her house and put it on her doorstep and knock on the door. And then we'll all sit in the car and sing her a happy birthday um, and wave at her from the car <laughs> and then drive away. <laughs> I think that's the best we can do at the moment. So Doris, you were saying you how new yeah how new I was I was really shy five years ago Doris you're right I've got a lot more comfortable with it now hi hi Melanie hi hi addressed in Transylvania wow that sounds exotic um and so I've got these carry shell beads um and you see they've got one hole drilled in them um they're natural carry shell beads and then um I've got some four mil gold plated round beads. Um, and then I've got some Brazilian wax cord, that wonderful Brazilian wax cord that we really love here at Spoil Rotten. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be really cute, I think. 
Um, to hear. Thank you, LL. Um, so what I've done is I've cut myself um, a length of the waxed um, cord and I'm working with about a metre or so. It's better to have a bit too much. Um, and I folded it in half and I'm just going to cut it in half there. So I've got, now I've got two lengths of cords. Oh, thank you. That's really lovely, Leslie. Thank you. Um, and um, about sort of 20 centimetres from the end, um, I'm going to tie them in a knot. Like that. And these ends here are going to be these bits here when we're done. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. And now you've got basically a knot with two pieces of cords coming off. She's 94. Oh, wow. How wonderful. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Um, and the first thing you want to do is just take one of the cords, it doesn't matter which one, and thread on one of those cowrie shell beads. Uh, uh, uh. Of course, I picked one with a funky hole straight away. When we do this in the kit, we give you extras so you've got more than you actually need. So I'm threading on my cowrie shell bead. Um, I'm going to take that down to that knot. And the trick to this is you need to keep everything pushed up tight as you do it. It's really important that it's all pushed up nice and tight. Um, and so I've pushed it up against that knot there. And you see how the, the cord kind of slips inside the shell like that. Hi, Helen. Um, and then the other cord goes around the outside. And now I'm going to pop both ends of my cord together. And I'm going to pass both ends through one of those gold plated beads there. And again, because this is a nice waxy cord, it does go, th you know, you can thread it through little beads like that. And I'm pushing it down against that shell. So it's all pushed down nice and taut. And now I'm ready for my next bead. Hello in Miami. Uh, so once more, I am gonna thread through a shell. Take it down. I'm gonna make sure that that shell's facing the same way as the other shell, so that it's the same way up. I'm not, I don't want it to kind of flip over like, like that. I want it to sit the same direction as the other one. I'm pushing it right down against that gold bead. And again, I'm going to pop both ends of my cord together and pass them through a gold plated bead and you could because it's nice and waxy this cord you can just kind of squidge it together and get it through those beads nicely push it all down nice and tight and that's my next one hi hi miss d so the trick is to push it all tight against each other if it's not pushed tight you will you will find your, your your shells will move around a bit. So again, making sure that it's facing the same way up, pushing it down against that gold bead, tucking the cord inside the shell, and I am going to your favourite, Donna. I thought you'd like this one. <laughs> I thought you'd like this one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Cowrie shells used to be like a currency, didn't they, in certain islands? You are having trouble watching, beating along my butterfly kisses, are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Some of my videos are easier to follow than others. I think I've got better at it the more practice I've got. So you see how they're nicely lined up now, those beads. So I'm just going to continue doing that now. And you probably need between eight and 10 for your um, bracelet or anklet, just depending on how long you want it to be. It's really up to you. Yeah, I was kind of almost excited. I was quite excited when my 
my vacuum cleaner, my Hoover broke earlier today because it, it meant I could go out and get one. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Shows you what we've all come to. <laughs> I was excited about going to Argos to buy myself a new vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I had to queue up outside the supermarket for quite a while because it's like a one in, one out policy. Um, but yeah, it felt good to be out and about. So push it all down tight. You could, you could have a knot between them. It might be a bit harder to get it tight because the beauty of these is that the gold beads is you can push them down really tight against the against the shells. But yeah, you can you could do it with a knot, definitely. You could. So that's my next one coming on. <laughs> I know I've got it charging at the moment, Patricia, my vacuum cleaner, and I'm like I'm quite excited about using it later. <laughs> Oh dear, lockdown, hey? We'll n we won't forget this, will we? Ah, oh, that's a good idea, Leslie. Yeah, if you can pick that time when there's nobody else out, um, then that's great. Um, I'm going to watch tonight. We've got something if going on on the TV here in the UK called I think it's called the Big Night In. Um, where all the kind of celebrities and singers and people are going to be entertaining us um, all evening. So I'm really looking forward to that, actually. That will be a really nice evening. I'm just going to grab myself some more of those um, gold beads. Oh, back again, there we go. Yeah, the big night in, so I shall be watching that later. Um, there's some quite good comedians and people on it, so hopefully it'll be nice and good, funny things that cheer us up. You don't have Sainsbury's. Your Argos is shut. Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Ooh, what was that, Elizabeth? You've got some barbecue mats, I think you said. You kind of go around Sainsbury's if you do get in, and there's all the clothes there and stuff, and you think, oh, you know... They're really lovely, but you don't have the occasion to wear, <laughs> wear them, do we, at the moment? I do feel sorry for those shops that have bought all that stock. It must be really tough for them right now. Place super glue on the... Yeah, you could you can do that, Brian, but because the um, this cord is the Brazilian wax cord, you probably don't even need to because it's, it's so waxy. It just sort of sticks to, together nicely. Do you, Titina, um, Titina, I think that's your name. I'm sorry if I said that incorrectly. Oh, I do apologise. Um, uh, so, yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of online shopping myself as well. I've got a new grooming brush coming for one of my doggies because um, I've got a board, one of the dogs is a Border Terrier and um, he has um, quite wiry fur that you have to kind of strip the wire out of his fur every once in a while um, and I normally take him to the groomers for that um, but um, but I um, obviously can't do that right now I've just got a bit distracted then because an enormous enormous queen wasp has just flown into my kitchen because you're in my kitchen with me right now um, and I'm looking at it on my window thinking, oh, don't come near me. <laughs> I hate wasps. Um, there you go. You see it's building up nicely. I can pop it up against my wrist and sort of see how that is, see how that's going now. Uh, I think I still need a, few, a couple more shells. I'm just going to try and ignore that wasp. Yeah, I don't think I'll get stung, hopefully. I think it's more, it probably just wants to get out, Leslie, but... I just, I'm not very good with wasps. I, I, I never have been. I think my mum tells me that when I was really little, I was in a buggy outside a shop and she went into the shop and left me in the shop because that was back in the days when you could do that. You wouldn't do that now. Um, hi, Pat. Um, and she left me in the buggy and I think I'd had a, some chocolate or something and I was really sticky and I, she came out of the shop and I was covered in wasps I hadn't got stung or anything but they were just on me 
And that obviously freaked me out. Um, and so I've been a bit scared of them ever since. Yeah, the windows are open. because It's so warm here, Elizabeth, it really is. So I said that, that this cord is lovely and sticks together and now I've managed to kind of make it come apart from itself. So I'm just gonna, tr what I'm gonna do is, this is why I always work with a bit of extra, um, is I'm just gonna trim it down a bit. Leave the wasp alone, you're right, and then it will leave me alone. Yeah, I, I don't let my mum forget that story, Helen. <laughs> my poor mum. <laughs> oh, it's funny how things like that from your childhood, though, can really sort of affect you, can't they? Mm -mm. Maybe it's that gold bead. You've got oh, a naughty house mouse that avoids the traps. You've got the conservatory door open. I don't blame you. It's so lovely and sunny out there. You've got to have some, bring the outside in, haven't you, if you can. I am really struggling to get this one through now. There we go. Yay. Pushing it all tight again. Lining my little shells up. I think I'm going to have one more shell and then that will be enough. Thank you, Leslie, for the, the recommendation. Um, so that's my last shell there on. Um, and um, yeah, they are on the website, Lucy. Um, and so I've got it all pushed down against each other. Um, and now I'm just gonna tie a knot right up against that last shell there. like that and I'm just using my my fingers just to push that knot down against that last shell so that's my my shells there it would make a really nice bracelet this length if you want to make it into an anklet for those real beachy vibes um, you probably just want to put a few more shells on so now we're going to make that clasp so to do that we're just going to use a sliding knot clasp I'm lining my bracelet up like that. So I've got both ends sort of passed over each other, like so. And we're gonna make this sliding knot clasp there, like that. So then to do this, you just need another little length of the Brazilian cord. Um, it doesn't have to be very long, about 30 centimeters is probably all you need for this. So if you've got little off cuts and things, you can use that. I'm gonna pass that underneath everything. I'm using Brazilian cord. Um, it's, it is waxy, um, Patricia. You could, um, you can re, you can watch the whole video again on the re, um, just once I'm done, you'll be able to replay it. Um, so if you miss the beginning, you can replay. So I'm passing my cord underneath everything. And then this cord here, I'm gonna pop over the top. And then this cord here, I'm taking over the top of this one and then under and through that loop like that. And this is this is called a square knot. I'm gonna pull that top tight. Okay, I'm just gonna move that up a bit because I want my knot to sit about there. And I do the same on the other side. You could paint them. Yeah, you probably could, Elizabeth. They only come in one colour, although we have got um, a gold and a silver conch shells, I think, on the website. You do exactly the same thing on the other side now. So this core is going over there, and then this one is going over the top of it, and then up through that loop that we just created. I was so excited about going out to Sainsbury's. I actually painted my nails today. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that is desperate, isn't it? You're like, oh, I'm going out. Uh, yeah, you could, as long as it's got a hole in it, Miss D. Um, you know, you could use that. Now you just want to do that about another four times. You need to do a grocery and prescription run, Patricia. Yeah. Well, it does feel quite good doing those things, doesn't it? Because, as I say, it's quite fun to get out. I'm going to make a necklace and bracelet. Lovely. There we go. So you get quite quick at these square knots once you know what you're doing. 
You can see that's the little clasp they're building up. <laughs> You're laughing at me, Leslie. I know. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? Oh, dear. There we go. So the more knots you make, then the longer this sliding clasp will be. It's, it's up to you, you know, how long you want it to be, really. I've got a lovely pair of earrings lined up for tomorrow's Beads and Banter. It's a, a pattern by Nella Kabalova from um, the Czech Republic. Um, I'm really looking forward to showing you that. Um, so it's nice dangly earrings. And it just uses, what does it use? It uses mini duo. No, yeah, mini, mini duos, I think. And size 11, size 15s, and I think size 8 as well, possibly. Um, and 3 mil rounds. Yeah, it looks really lovely. So I shall give that a go in the morning. You're still packing. Hi, Becky. Oh, that's Becky um, packing all your orders. Be Becky and Lauren and Andre are in the warehouse today packing everyone's orders. Um, so, yeah, there is my um, bracelet. I don't know if Becky's still watching, but Becky, I'm, I'm just going to show you the, the, the pattern on the dress that I'm wearing. Becky, there you go. You can see it there. Um, Becky took this dress up for me. Becca is a re Becky is a really good seamstress and she took this dress up when I bought it because it was too long for me. I'm finally wearing it, Becky. Um, so that's my, um, yeah, Becky, she, they are winning. Um, that's my sliding knot. And what I'm going to do now is just put a gold bead on each of these kind of tails of... Um, um thank you lucy it does make you feel better doesn't it when you paint your nails i think it does make a difference um so just popping that on there tying a knot there we go says she I've not left myself much thread here, but there you go. There's my knot, okay? That's one. So that's my little gold bead there. And do the same here. So I'm just pinching my cords together so I can get them through that. That gold bead. Mm -mm -mm. Pesky, this one. Oh, cycling, going out cycling. Have you got nice places to cycle near you, Leslie? It's very flat around here because we're in Cambridgeshire, so not many hills. Okay, there we go. That's my other gold bead. And again, I'm just going to knot the cord below it. And then we'll be ready to trim everything off. I think that my daughter, my my sixteen, no, yeah, my sixteen-year-old daughter, is going to to steal this straight away. She's got her eye on these bracelets, um, so um, don't do heels. No, <laughs> um, I'm just going to trim off my ends of thread. Can you hear that buzzing? Actually, I don't think it's a wasp. I think it's a buzzy bee. So bees are nice. We like bees. Um, and trim off, um, and I'm just leaving about sort of two mil there. And then we seal those ends um, just by burning the ends there, which, yeah, maybe let me try and get my, get the lighter and I'll try and do that on camera for you. Oh, I haven't got lighter, I have got matches though. So let's try and do this on camera. Here we go. So you just, burn the end it just melts quite nicely because it is a um a synthetic cord so i'm just melting it and just giving it a little push there we go um and i'm going to do the same there on those two ends well and push them against my clasp my my sliding clasp and then that will just finish off the sliding clasp nicely when i am done so that is my very very, very beachy make for today a little bit different from all the seed beading we've been doing recently but it's really nice just to to mix it up um so yeah i hope you have enjoyed watching this um have a go yourself 
share your makes on our um, channel and subscribe to our channel. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, then hit that subscribe button before you go. Um, and yeah, thank you. Nice dangly glamorous earrings in a nice coral and turquoise colorway that I've got lined up. Um, so yeah, stay safe everyone and see you